Good, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brooklyn, especially. And welcome to HSGC's LGBTQ plus Pride Month Assembly. My name is Tiffany Sukai, and I'm the ninth grade class president. And I'm here with Caleb Butcher, the president of HSGC's Diversity and Inclusion Club. So just some background on Pride Month itself. It's the month where we celebrate the LGBTQ plus community and give them more visibility. Today, to celebrate Pride Month and the LGBTQ plus community, we're going to be taking a look at some student work. But first, let's take a, a look at today's agenda. We're going to look at some guidelines and norms. Number one, this is a student-led meeting, not a teacher-led meeting. So teachers and adults, please step back and make room for student voices. Two, we're going to be looking at social movements and our civic literacy essays that our US history and go student government classes have been doing. And we're gonna take a look at some instructions from our wonderful US history teacher, Mr. Buckley. Hello, this Padlet is for two components of an assignment. The components are discussion and final publication. This assignment relates to the civic literacy essay task on the New York State US History Regents exam. That task can come in two different forms, but generally students, students need to do the following three things well after reading and analyzing documents that are provided to them. First, students need to describe the historical circumstances surrounding a constitutional or civic issue. Second, students need to explain actions and efforts by individuals, groups, and or governments to address this constitutional or civic issue. And third, students need to discuss the extent to which the efforts were successful or discuss the impact of the efforts on the United States and or on American society. My US history students were given the choice to explore various social movements to practice this task. Some of them chose LGBTQ plus pride and the gay rights movement. And they were given two documents, both from Newzella to read and analyze. One is about the Supreme Court's same-sex marriage ruling. The other is about pride marches around the world. For this assignment, we're using a strategy called the Read, Write, Discuss, Revise Cycle. So students, educators, anyone out there who's watching, this is what I invite you to do. First, open this Padlet by pointing your smartphone's camera at the QR code shown here. Read the two documents and take some notes, read and write. Next, let's discuss. Listen to the other voices represented here and hear the perspectives of others. Then join the discussion verbally by posting, a model how to do this, an audio recording if you're camera shy and don't wanna show your face, a video recording if you're comfortable showing your face, or at the highest level, you can post a screen recording, which is what I'm doing right now, and show us stuff while you speak. The discussion stage should help you process the ideas and organize your thoughts. Then write the essay, proofread it, reflect on it, ask someone for feedback, implement their feedback, revise it, and finally publish your professional writing with the other distinguished authors here. I'm looking forward to hearing, engaging with, and reading your thoughts on this important topic. Happy Pride Month. Thank you for that wonderful video, Mr. Buckley. We're gonna be moving on and looking at a Padlet with some student work on it. First, we're gonna be taking a look at Kayla Butcher's work here at HSGC on this Padlet. Hello, my name is Kayla Butcher, and today I'm going to be discussing the background of LGBTQ plus pride and the gay rights movement. Actions and efforts and the impact of the movement. One of the issues involved in the gay rights movement is marriage inequality. According to the article, gay couples cannot marry in all 50 states until 2013. 13 states still outlawed gay marriage. Also, gay people weren't allowed to work or socialize in certain places. The article How LGBT Pride Marches Spread Around the World says, quote, back in 1969, businesses could get in trouble for having gay employees or serving gay, gay customers. One action or effort that groups have taken to address this issue is asking 
quote, for equal dignity in the eyes of the law, end quote. That is a direct quote from the article, gay couples cannot marry in all 50 states. Quote, Obergefell brought the case to the Supreme Court. He has sued the state of Hawaii, Ohio for refusing to recognize his marriage after his husband, John Arthur, died. End quote. This means that a gay man sued marriage, sued for marriage equality in court. Additionally, people have protested, rioted, and marched in support of gay rights. In 1969, police raided the Stonewall Inn in NYC. Quote, for six days, there were protests and violent clashes with police outside the bar, as well as in neighboring streets and nearby Christopher Park. The Stonewall riots helped inspire the rapid growth of the gay rights movement in the United States and eventually around the world. End quote. That quote is from the article How LGBT Pride and Marches Spread Around the World. One effect of the gay rights movement is the same marriage, six same sex marriage is now allowed in all 50 states. The news ELA article says, quote, the Supreme Court has given gay couples the right to marry across the country, end quote. Another effect of the gay rights movement is that attitudes in America are changing. The text states that, Supreme, that the Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Court's 2015 decision, quote, will likely encourage more people to accept gay marriage. Most Americans now support it. This was not the case just a few years ago, end quote. That is from the article gay couples are not married in all 50 states. And finally, people have, people are more confident and proud of their identities. Thank you, Kayla, for that wonderful video. Let's give her a big round of applause. Woo! Yes, Kayla! All right, now we're going to be taking a look at Janelle Sutton's work. Now, she is one of my classmates, and she always does amazing work. So let's go take a look at her work on the pilot. Today, I will be talking about the historical background of the LGBTQ plus community and how they fought for gay marriage to be legalized in all 50 states. Around the time that the LGBTQ plus community was getting more awareness, businesses would get in trouble if there were any gay employees or if they served gay customers. The issue was that gay marriage was looked upon as controversial which is why gay marriage took so long to become legal. In document two, it states, back in 1969, businesses could get in trouble for having gay employees or serving gay customers. Police stormed the Stonewall Inn on June 28th of that year. Employees and customers of the bar on Christopher Street were hauled roughly, outside roughly. Several were arrested. Their treatment sparked a riot among bar customers and neighborhood residents. Document 1 states, the court's 5-4 to four decision focused on same-sex marriages. However, its meaning goes far beyond the 20-year-long battle for gay marriage. The ruling was likely to lead to the end of any laws that treat gay people unfairly. These details explain how gay marriage was controversial. In order for gay marriage to become legalized, many people who were a part of or supported the community came together and started to protest, and people hosted pride parades. There were also many marches for this movement. This social movement caused the LGBTQ plus community to be known around the world. Most Americans support gay marriage now. Also, two years ago, the Supreme Court made a key statement about gay marriage. According to document two, it states, for six straight days, there were protests and violent clashes with police outside the bar, as well as in neighboring streets and nearby Christopher Park. Manhattan hosted its first pride parade the following year. 
and the idea quickly spread to other cities in North America. The first march in London, England was held in 1972. Document 1 states, the decision will likely encourage more people to accept gay marriage now. Most Americans now support it. This was not the case just a few years ago. Lastly, Document 1 also states, two years ago, the Supreme Court made a key statement about gay marriage. It said that gay marriages deserved equal dignity and respect under the law. In conclusion, gay marriage supporters have fought very hard to get gay marriage legalized in all 50 states. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Janelle. Let's give her a big round of applause. Woo! Yes, Janelle, that's my student. Yeah. So next, we're going to be taking a look at Alexia Foster's work on the Padlet. So let's go find their video and, you know, take a look at it. LGBTQ discrimination is a serious and sometimes overlooked problem. Thanks to the world opening their eyes and educating themselves about the matter, we have made tremendous progress in accepting reality. The LGBTQ plus community has battled with discrimination and has marched 20 years for gay marriage. The White House being lit up in rainbow colors in commemoration of the Supreme Court's ruling to legalize same-sex marriage, document one shows great progress and shows that the fight is worth it. Hopefully, this will lead to laws addressing the unfairness towards the LGBTQ plus community. According to document one, Justice Anthony M. Kennedy wrote of the decision, quoting, no union is more profound than marriage, end quote. Mr. Kennedy took into consideration black and white marriages and saw that this is no different and that love is love no matter sexuality or race. The supporters of gay marriage celebrated on the Supreme Court steps to celebrate the progress made. As stated by once President Barack Obama, when all Americans are treated as equal, all are free. Some believe Kennedy could have done more by stating LGBTQ plus discrimination is the same as any other. Sarah Warbello is a lawyer for the Human Rights Campaign in Washington, a group that pushes for the rights of gay people, and she believes the Supreme Court will help get rid of the other 115 laws against the LGBTQ plus community. The LGBTQ plus pride flag is a representation of the community. Campaigns are held at the end of June, Pride Month, which celebrates the anniversary of the Stonewall demonstrations of 1969. Back in 1969, businesses could get in trouble for having gay employees or serving gay customers. Every year at the end of June in each year, they celebrate LGBTQ plus Pride Day. According to Document 2, employees and customers of the bar on Christopher Street were hauled outside roughly, and several were arrested. This treatment from the police sparked riots for six days, and that included protests and violent clashes between protesters and officers. Manhattan hosted their first Pride Parade the following year. 2016 Parade was the most emotional after the death of 49 people in a gay club in Florida. The movement of the Pride Parade has spread among the world and encourages a lot of countries to make progress. However, some countries like Russia has banned it until 2112. Hopefully, all countries will open their arms to the situations and make equality not just amongst LGBTQ plus community a normality. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause for Alexia. Woo! Thank you all for sharing on the Padlet. Now we're going to be taking a look at some student artwork from Kayla Butcher herself. 
So let's go take a look at her artwork and see what she has to say. And there's her artwork right there, it's loading. Hi everyone, it's Kayla Butcher again. In the drawing, I use the colors in the LGBTQ plus flag. The red represents life, orange represents healing, yellow represents sunlight, green represents nature, blue represents serenity, and purple represents spirit. Thank you for your time and undivided attention. All right, thank you for sharing, Caleb. Mr. Buckley, can you please smash the ask all to unmute button so that we could give Caleb a big round of applause? Yes, Madam President. Let's go! Good job, Kayla! Yes, Kayla! All right, so this concludes the High School for Global Citizenship's LGBTQ Plus Pride Month Assembly. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching at home. And we hope to see you again next year. Stay tuned. Happy Pride Month! Bye! <laughs>